to today, we are at Pandan Reservoir. We are at the Ponjuru side jetty. And today's plan is going to be to do a catch and cook. We are going to be trying to do a zebra tilapia catch and cook for y'all. So I'm with Terry who is behind the camera. Uh, the lures that I'll be using for today are going to be the Fat Jack range. So, for these nice four Fat Jack colours. So I'll be trying out uh, all four of these colours to see if I can catch a fish on it. My setup for the day will be the Rapala Stream Rush. Right, with my new Zillion SV. Just got this reel. Haven't caught a fish on it. So yeah, let's give it a try. I'll, I'm loading it with 6 pound entry tool. Hi guys, I'm Terry. Today I'll be using the new Storm Discovery. 2 to 6 pound ultralight spinning. I'll be using the Island Angler's rubber 1.1 inch Alihuto in a watermelon color target this zebra tilapia together with the new limited edition Alihuto 1.1 inch black gold available, uh, available at SG Fishing Rigs okay so wish us luck alright guys so we're at the place there is at the other side we're gonna be dropping some rubbers for the zebras I'll be casting this fat jack I have no clue if I can even cast it on the zillion. It's not a VFS reel, but let's give it a try. Huh? Put the brakes on like eight. So, yeah, first cast of the day. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just casting my crankbait out which is the Rupala Fat Jack and I'm just gonna slow crank it so I'll crank it a bit faster first to get it to the bottom and I'll just steady slow retrieve as you can see that's a really slow crank so my reel is 8 to 5 gear ratio so it's pretty fast so I'll be going extra slow so yeah just keeping my rod tip down just look around. Alright, so Terry just caught this zebra. Cute little zebra will be tapoing this fellow. Uh, my GoPro wasn't on, I was changing battery and he too. We're at the west coast side jetty, as you can see. So yeah. Let's go back home and get on with the cooking. Alright, hi guys, so we're back home. Uh, we'll be scaling up the zebra tilapia. As you can see, this is the fish. It's a good size zebra, about one hand size. We'll make a meal for us to eat. Okay, so wash the fish gently a bit. Get rid of any like sand or okay. spawn. It's a fish right there. It's a good size zebra. Alright, so let's begin by scaling it. Two hours later. Alright guys, so that's one side as you can see. Uh, managed to get one side done. Now it's time for the other side. So let's go. So I did one side and now Terry is doing the other side. Bufu yo! Flex skills. Manta! <laughs> oh, that's one oh, slap no. of skills. It's okay, just a bit of meat. Carry on. So this is the side that I did. 
and this is the the other side is the one that tells it. <laughs> a bit the overkill lah, but okay lah, okay lah. <laughs> now let's uh, cut off the rest of the stuff. Then we will get back to you. Okay. Oh, yo. Terry's first attempt at filleting a fish. My first time filleting fish. I don't know if it's good or not, but okay, my best. Not bad, Lee, eh? not bad. <laughs> Did quite well. So I'll do the other side. We'll Let's see. see. Let's see. I didn't manage to get this part of the meat. Yeah, it's okay. okay, it's okay. This is like my fifth time playing, so yeah, I'm still learning. Alright, to complement the fish, right, I'm gonna be making potato wedges. Very simple. Take your potato, wash it, okay? Slice into wedges. Very easy. Mm. It's a wedge right there. We'll boil water, then we'll put it inside the water for seven minutes. And we'll take out, take it out from the boiled water, then we'll fry it. Alright, so okay, so we're gonna let it cook inside the water for about uh, seven to ten minutes. Then we'll take it out. We'll drain it, then we'll dry it, then we'll fry it. So we need to season the flour. So uh, we didn't have any like plain flour, so I'm using uh, wheat flour. So hopefully this works. Take some pepper. Put a good amount of pepper inside this. Okay. Chili powder. Just a bit will do. Then, so this is our flour station. Just mix the flour for a bit. Okay. Uh, then we got our egg wash. This is just one uh, beaten egg. Then we got our breadcrumb section. So this is, we didn't have breadcrumbs, so we used biscuits. And just squash them out. Did the brandy technique. So yeah, we'll throw them in here the last. So at first, we'll go inside the flour. Then into the egg wash. Then into here. Okay, so how it's gonna go is take a small piece of the fish, put it inside the flour, okay. get it nice and coated, shake off any excess, okay. put in the egg, and you're supposed to keep one, one dry hand and one red hand, but technology is wrong. Then shake it, drop it inside here, shake the living shit out of it. Okay. Grab it. Shake off the excess. Okay. Get it skin side down and away from you. And just repeat. So same thing. Flour first. Hold everything. Okay, all the nooks and crannies. 
Shake off. Your potato is really good. Your nuggets. All right, so now we got the potatoes frying. The fish is already done, as you can see. Let's go! Look at that shiny, shiny stuff. All right, now it's the potatoes turn. So about five minutes on each side, and then flip it over, uh, rotate. Then we put it onto a, a plate with some salt and pepper, and you just toss it around. That's all. Right guys, so the wedges look something like that right now. So at first we just kept it on one side, then we flipped it to the other side as you can see like that. Then we cooked it on the skin side down like as you can see all of them are standing up right now. So they're done. So let's transfer them to the plate with some paper towels. Just take the color. Drain, drain, drain. Oh. Trying out the fish. Uh, and it's the end product. Looks damn solid to be honest. You can go and try first. Uh. So cheers sir. Cheers, cheers. Uh -huh. Wait, how much it is us? Try without chili sauce. You just taste like tilapia to be honest. No money spell. Yeah. But it's damn nice. The meat is white white flaky flaky. Yeah. It's actually nice. Yeah. Okay, now we try the wages mm. made by Jubel. Don't play play. Mm. My recipe, oh. Oh. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. So, the reason for boiling it first, right? You saw the inside will be fluffy. Then you fry the outside so it'll be crispy. Then you put the seasoning in the last moment. Sit down. Okay, we'll finish eating this thing. Then we'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Alright guys, so we come to the end of our session. Uh, or the video, to say. So, the zebra tilapia meat was really good. It was actually really, really yeah, good. Legit. Yeah, so Terry, what's your verdict on it? I recommend you all to try out. It's actually very good. It's a lot better than peacock to be honest. And then just try it out. Lah. Yeah, just give it a try. Uh, example if you catch a zebra and somehow the your jaw is too deep, like inside the throat too, too deep and it get, gets the gills, the hooks the gills, and you try to revive the fish but it's not surviving, just bring it back man, eat it, don't waste it. So yeah, it's it's a good fish to eat, no mud smell, we caught this at Pandan Reservoir. So let us know what uh, where else we catch and cook. Yeah, comment on it. Yeah, just comment. We're going to do a series. We go to all the legal ground, catch some nonsense fish there, bring it home and cook. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for today's video. Uh, our IG links will be in the description. Do check us out there to see more of our fishing life, I guess. So yeah, 
uh, that's about it. I hope you all like this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Bye bye. Do 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 do. 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 Do do do